Yo, what's up, guys? Watch my exclusive interview only on Triller right here. Yeah, yeah, the I would say the difference between this project and the last project is is growth. The growth is the most the most important important aspect of it is you, you you'll hear similarities, you know, obviously it's just like I have a very same voice, maybe just a little bit deeper in the last couple of years. Um in that sense, very raspy, you know, monotone, but I feel in a way that I've I I I perfected it now that I wish I would have done back then. I wish I as is, is stupid as it sounds, I wish I would have known how to rap better back then. You know, I feel like I got good at rapping when I kind of took a break and stopped. I'm not saying that I don't like my old music. I love a lot of my old music. But during the pandemic and, and even when I was off and on drugs and stuff, it did give me a lot of time to practice the craft of it, I guess. Um, and and I'm, I'm very proud of this project. I. I think a lot of people are really gonna to dig it, man. It, it just sounds like, it sounds like what I wanted my first project to sound like. So, you know, I'm excited. What inspired me to get sober was, I was a, there was a bunch of things, you know, that go into it, obviously not just one one single thing, but um, there was a moment where I was at my lowest. And, I, and again, it sounds very cringy and cliche, but I looked in the mirror and, uh, I swear I could see like the little marks that like crazy, you know, people two years get and all that. Um, and and I just was like, I can't go out like that, you know? So I, I uh, went cold turkey. And as a result, I had a few seizures that were pretty bad. But like I said, I, uh, I treat it like a wake up call and almost in a weird way, grateful for, for what happened. Um, yeah, it was a real turning point, but uh, it all had to happen to, to get here. You know, how many tattoos do I have? Uh, probably I didn't know previously, but I would say I, yeah, 76, 77. Someone counted, I can't remember the exact number, but mostly they all kind of stop right here. Oh, more or less like almost like a poser when it comes to tattoos, people probably think, but yeah, and then some, a couple on my leg, but most on my face. Um, yeah, I feel like 76 probably. The neck was, yeah, the neck was way more painful than any of the face tattoos. My stance on mental health is, uh, like me, physically, mentally, I'm in the best place I've ever been. Um, you know, it's been it's been a crazy journey just to get here. And don't get me wrong, there is so much room for improvement, all that growth and all that. Um, and that's what I'm, I'm striving for with not only with what I'm doing in music, but just life in general. Um, I think that's one of the most important things. I got my name Lil Zan in a very weird rinky dink gift shop, I think in Austin, Texas, 2016, South by Southwest, the, the really the, like the beginning of like the SoundCloud era. And it, it's a ridiculous name, it still is to this day, but I love it. Um, it, it was a product of its time, you know, my, my friend had given me the nickname because I was heavily medicated at the time uh, and it just stuck and we thought it was a ridiculous name at the time and we, we didn't think you know who those answer crazy no just no nobody's gonna get give a uh, radio play to someone named Lil Zan. it just sounds crazy but it ended up working it was it's it's I it's wild looking back uh, at my career I would say there's been a lot of like key, key little, I'd call it milestones, you know, that, that I've reached um, all different, but uh, something that like, uh, what a moment, you know, there's so many, it's hard to like even think about one, but I mean, it, again, when, you know, going back, like just getting sober um, and, and or overall just getting older, you know, the older I get, I'm 26, about to be 27 in September. Uh, I wish I would have had this this maturity and almost been like this type of person back then. You know, I like I don't hate the person I was, but you know, I just I'm I'm sure everybody says that they wish they can go back. But uh I'm I'm glad that I'm in I'm in not just, you know, sober, but I'm also just in a better place just as like in maturity, you know, maturity wise, like I don't know, I feel more of an adult than I ever have. And I have a lot more responsible. 
I'm a, I'm a human being now, you know, I was crazy before. Um, yeah, so the, the a turning point, you know, there's there's so many, but getting sober was, uh, it's gotta, it's gotta be the biggest one. Advice I have to other artists, keep it as a side project. You can still be as passionate as you want. Obviously it's music, Every, you know, it's a very passionate project, passionate, passionate thing, but just keep it as like a side kind of thing and don't treat it as your main until you can make money you know like don't don't have don't like go and get a diploma and then then decide to be a rapper you know like just do something else and and but also put a lot into the music and if it's gonna happen it's gonna happen trust me if it's gonna happen it's gonna happen um and for artists that are already established i don't really talk to too many artists but uh I wish them all well, you know. Yo, what's up? Lil Zan, AK Diego, and thank you guys for watching my exclusive interview right here on Trilogy. <laughs>